Ah, yes, this is really happening. Miami's back in a suit and you know what that means. This episode is about to be really ho ho wholesome. We're gonna be going over my top five picks for what should be on your wish list for 2023. It's been a really long year filled with mostly joy. And I know how indecisive musicians are, so I'm gonna help you with what I think are the best tools to add to your arsenal. So, what's happening fam? Miami here with JST and that stands for Jolly Santa today. And do you wanna know why I'm so jolly? I've been having all of my favorite snacks. You know, Santa's underbelly shows cookies really inspire binge eating. Wait, let's run that back. Santa's underbelly shows cookies really inspire binge eating. Yeah, that just happened too. Make sure you subscribe to Santa, hit that sleigh bell to be notified when we upload new content, and of course, give this video a like because that transition was literally insane. So let's get into it. First thing I had my eye on this year is from a company called Antelope, and it's the Antelope Zen Go Synergy Core Thunderbolt 3. And the reason of list I want it is as long as the name itself. Now, if you don't know, I use the Antelope Orion 32, but it's rack mounted and I move around a lot from studio to studio. I've fallen in love with the sound of Antelope's preamps and converters, so I just want something portable that I can bring around. And what really intrigues me is that it has the same high quality preamps, sleek interface look that I'm accustomed to with Antelope. And I know this might seem silly to you guys, but it has two headphone inputs on the front and I like being able to produce with someone else without making a ton of noise. And it's not even expensive. I've been using the Audion ID series for a few years now, and actually almost like five years. And it's still an excellent product, but I've gotten used to using some of the Antelope plugins and that device just makes it really simple. So from an interface standpoint, it's at the top of my list for things that I wanted this year. I just really need to make a studio on the go setup because I always feel like I'm not comfortable when I don't have the option of using my own rig. Maybe I'm gonna make a video about this too. But uh, anyways, on to number two. The M1 Mac Mini. As things are starting to move over to M1 even more, which just sounds expensive knowing it's an Apple product, I'm glad that we have the option to still get things like the Mac Mini. At under $1,000, you can get the Mac Mini M1 with 16 gigs of RAM, the traditional 256 gigs for storage, and you can double it for a couple hundred bucks. I've noticed 16 gigs on M1 works really well for audio production. And that RAM seems to go a lot further than it did with the i5s they were using even some of the i7s. As long as you aren't bogged down with 100 tracks, I'm sure you're gonna be just fine with this and be in the game with a new computer that can hang with the best of them, literally. Really affordable option from Apple here and check Best Buy for open boxes because they're typically gonna be a couple hundred dollars cheaper. I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with getting a returned computer. The second you turn yours on, it's considered used anyways. And they have to do it within 14 days for it to qualify to be an open box return, so. No shame in my game, that would be my first thought. On to our next topic. Number three on my list of things you should be asking a loved one for. And this item's really expensive, so I hope they love you a lot. Solid State Logic's Bus Plus two channel bus compressor. As far as long names go, I don't know who wins here, this or the antelope thing. Yeah, I know, I'm out of my mind. This thing's like $3,000, but just look at this thing, man. Putting this as an insert with an SSL Fusion, like, Literally, how insane would that be? It has parallel compression, mid-side, etc. It's just a G-comp on steroids. It's one of those things where you already know it's gonna sound amazing, so you just need to eat the cost. I wake up thinking, what do I have to sell to get my hands on this thing? Even if it's my soul, I might have to make that bargain. Or I could just have the elves make it, you know? That makes sense, Santa and all that. Anyways, this comes in at number three and would be an insane addition to anyone's mixing or mastering arsenal. And after going over those three, we're gonna switch to number four. I know that last one was hardware and costs a fortune. So we're gonna dial it back and stick to something that's a lot more reasonable and doesn't need to be put on your parents' credit card. Um, JST Maximizer. Now, so much software is coming out these days, it's almost overwhelming to pick which are going to be the most useful. Out of all the stuff we've been dropping, the reason I think this one is useful is it fixes a few major problems. Besides fine tuning your mix, it's gonna match your mixing levels to the platforms you're planning on uploading to. So if you need to make separate bounces for Spotify, 
Apple Music, etc. It does all of those things with the click of a button. It also handles low end in a way that's simpler than I've seen in comparable products. And it's just not expensive for all the things that it does. It can fix anything you feel you didn't catch in the mix at the final stage. Now, I know we should always move forward with the idea of fixing what we have in the mix, right? Before it gets to mastering. But sometimes you just can't tell what the issue is. And this plugin does a great job of taking you over the finish line. So yeah, shameless plug, you can download your free trial by going to the description and clicking on the link. On to our next and final stocking stuffer. And I think you're gonna need a really big stocking for this one. A better studio chair. Like, I know all the other choices were very specific, but this one isn't. Because there's different needs for everybody. Some people need lower lumbar support, you know, I just got in an accident a couple weeks ago. I could use that right now. Some people need a headrest. Some people need a chair that doubles for gaming. And not everyone can afford a $1,500 Herman Miller chair. So for your sake, just look into upgrading. We spend so many hours in these chairs producing. It's almost like that concept um, that people say about buying a cheap bed. You spend a third of your life in that bed, right? So why are you gonna be cheap on it? And it's the exact same concept when it comes to your studio chair because whether you realize it or not, you're spending a third of your life there too or maybe more. So in the description below, I'm sharing my wish list of different chairs I hope I get for Christmas this year. And I implore you to take a look at it because it's gonna help very much in your findings and in helping you understand what is your need when it comes to comfort. By the way, don't forget to get an extra armless chair if you play guitar or record guitars because Nothing feels or looks more ridiculous than someone trying to shred in that awkward position, trying to avoid the armchairs, you know? Let's just avoid that altogether. And while we do that, let's go over all of this one more time. All right, let me see if I can say this all in one uh, breath. The Antelope Zengo Synergy Core Thunderbolt Edition. The Apple M1 Mac Mini. Solid State Logic Bus Plus 2 Channel Bus Compressor. That's also a mouthful. JST Maximizer and a better chair. If you guys saw the chair I was on, you'd understand why I'm talking so much about this. And some of this stuff is really reasonably priced and some is outrageously expensive. But hey, this is the one time a year you get to be extra without having to feel bad for it. So splurge on yourself or even better, have someone else splurge on something that will make your life better in 2023. So how's everyone feeling about my list? I'm really curious what you guys have on yours. What would you lose your mind over if someone got it for you? Leave it in the comments below and I will chat with you fine people like I always do. If you're an engineer on the come up, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You only have to do it one time and tap that slave bell for notifications. So when a video drops, you know the location. Till next time, I am out of here. Mic drop, except as engineers we know, I'd never really drop this thing because that get really expensive. Even if it is actually a flashlight and not a sure microphone, but at least I can light up my, the batteries also don't work. This is what we call a failed attempt, my friends. I will catch you.